Hello everyone. So rough start for Tesla stock today, but ended out flat. There was concern that uh, the price cuts would negatively affect Tesla shares, which maybe in the early market it did, but as we can see, ended up only down 0.3% today. So basically flat. Despite that, the news articles today were pretty negative uh, towards Tesla. To see market watch here, Tesla stock falls toward fifth straight loss after slowing in China. But really, at the end, by the end of the day, it was not so bad, basically flat. And next, we got a article from Electric. Tesla is about to launch a big new software update with new features and UI upgrades. So let's see what they got in store for us or for Tesla owners. Tesla scope on Twitter says exclusive, a new unreleased Tesla software update is now going out to employee vehicles, including a trove of interface oriented improvements, text size adjustments, control search, points of interest, phone call controls, and more included in the next tweets. Use the search function for quicker access to controls and settings. Go to controls, search, and enter a search term. Make changes directly from the result or tap the link to jump to that panel and controls. Tesla is also improving its points of interest in its navigation system with the cards now adding photos and reviews of those locations. On Tesla vehicles, the left steering wheel scroll is generally used for media, but with the new update, Tesla will let drivers control phone calls when a call is occurring. Speaking of the scroll wheels on the steering wheel, Tesla is going to allow customizations for these with this new update. Do more with the less with the left scroll button on the steering wheel. You can adjust settings like brightness and acceleration mode or perform actions like toggling the camera app, opening the glove box, and saving dash cam footage. Long press the scroll button to bring up a list of functions and scroll through the list. To choose which function comes up by default to go, go to controls, display, scroll wheel function. With the new update, Tesla also introduces a new chime that sounds when changing gears, but this sound effect is optional. The automaker is also bringing passenger seat controls to the rear touchscreen in the Model S and X. Adjust the passenger seat from the rear touchscreen to make it easier to enter or exit the rear seat. To access the passenger seat controls, tap the seat icon on the rear touchscreen. Hold one of the arrows to move the passenger seat forward or backward. The controls are available only when the vehicle is not moving. To access the same controls from the front touchscreen, tap the app launcher and go to the rear screen, remove control app. Tesla is also propagating its new get to know your Tesla feature, which is basically an in-car on-screen vehicle manual. Additionally, the automaker is bringing new upgrades to its Zoom video calling app and making video calls available in more markets. The update is being pushed to Tesla employees right now to be tested, and it will likely expand to the customer fleet in the coming weeks as the software is still not finalized. Things might change a bit by then. So yeah, this was always a, a fun aspect of owning a Tesla. You get these uh, updates all the time and uh, control functions and the user interface in general can change and makes one in the car kind of exciting because you you get these updates and you're like oh i wonder what's in this one maybe there's a new game maybe stuff charging is faster uh, you never know and it made it fun to own a tesla and there was a lot of new things that came that i didn't have when i first bought my model s that i really enjoyed uh, getting for example one that i really liked was the pin for the uh, glove box so when i first bought the car you just hit the button and it opens the glove box but this pin to open glove box was allowed you to lock the glove box and you to open it you had to enter a pin to uh, open the glove box which i found was handy and i used that quite a bit and there's many more like the games i didn't have games when i first got the car camper mode i didn't have because my car was so old i didn't have a camper mode and i like camping so it was it was a fun feature for me camper mode is when you can control the heat or air conditioning all night in the car so you can stay nice and comfortable while you sleep in the car and this was actually uh you could do this plugged in or not plugged in in the summer it was no problem for me in canada because it, it didn't take a lot of power to keep it comfortable in the car I think sometimes I just ran the fan because it does Canada is not that hot of a place. <clears throat> but in the winter, that was the big one. Uh, there was times I slept in the car in the winter, and I ran the heat. But even if I wasn't plugged in, I would only use about ten percent of the battery to uh, get through the night. So 
it wasn't wasn't a problem as long as you had a decent charge. Like if you went to sleep with seventy percent battery, you'd wake up with sixty percent state of charge in the battery. So camper mode was a great feature. So yeah, cool to see the new updates coming from Tesla. Good that Tesla shares held strong today. Uh, we heard about the new mega factory in China. So maybe that helped out keep it even instead of uh, going down. So that's my video for today. My name is Evan Bertrand. This is the Evergreen channel. Thanks for watching.